Fox. Jim, uh, you're on the you're on the air. Uh, what's your question for Joe and Nancy? Hi, good morning, Jim. Jim. Hey, good morning. What's up? Here's the here's the deal. I, I I used to work from home, but now they want me to come back in the office. But there's no office in Orlando, so they want me to move to Coral Springs, Florida. Oh, wow. wow. So yeah. So my deal is I really like my house in Orlando. It's on a lake, and I've done a lot of work, and it looks really nice. But I got, like, another 200000 on the mortgage. So I was wondering, should I take money out of my 401K, pay off my house in Orlando, and then take a primary residence uh, in Coral Springs? And that way I get the homestead and, and stuff on the on the Coral Springs residence. Jim, how much longer do you think you'll be working? Right. Five, five years. Five years. Okay. And so how old are you? Uh, 60. And what's the mortgage balance? 200, 200 you said? 200. And your interest rate is what? What's your interest rate? Yeah. Uh, 2.99. Oh, Ooh, that's low. Okay. <laughs> All right. And do you know how much equity you have in your current home? Yeah, a lot. A lot. Okay. All right. Yeah, so we... Probably- it's probably six hundred thousand that I owe two hundred thousand. Okay, we we are against you taking a loan from your four hundred one k. You're gonna have to pay yourself back with interest. So I mean, you know, from that regard, it's sort of not bad. Um, you know, but that's all pretext. But I could do a distribution, right? Yeah, that's even worse. Well, well, first of all, okay. well, first of all, you're limited on the loan. You can only take out the maximum of fifty thousand dollars or one half of your of your vested interest. So that's the max that you can get out on a loan. Now, talking about a withdrawal, that's even worse. Well, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be all taxable, and you know, so who knows what kind of tax bracket you're gonna push yourself into by taking that loan out. Plus a ten percent penalty. Right. Right. So, I mean, you have no, not, not at sixty, right? No. No, not a, not a, but, not not. A but tax. it is, but it is taxable. Yeah. You know, so if you yes, put, it is taxable. Yeah. And, and you're limited, as Joe said, to fifty percent, assuming that's what your company allows for loans or or withdrawals. If they allow it at all, the maximum yeah. you could do is fifty grand. Or so, um, have you looked into in Coral Springs potentially a long term rental? Yeah. Which might end up costing you monthly about the same as a mortgage, and then you can keep your property here with your, with your rent. very nice equity and your very nice interest rate. Or you could rent this property here, which is may, maybe what I would do. Don't let the property sit idle. Find yourself a good tenant, good long-term tenant. Check their credit. But I would definitely not take money out of your 401k. You're going to blow yourself up. You're going to pay at least uh, a couple. Hundred, you're going to pay at least forty forty five thousand dollars in taxes. Alone, just to get that money out of the four hundred one k. Plus, then you set your uh, your retirement plans back backwards, Jim. That 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 will not work. What you need, what you really need to have done, is a plan, and uh, that's what Nancy and I and the certified financial planners at CFG do. Sit down with you, look at the pros and cons of that choice, and then uh, you can make a decision as opposed to shooting from the hip. 